Hello everyone, Devin90k here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of anniversary grinding and we're also going to be unlocking the Dwarven Mines and doing quite a bit of mining, getting a new armor set. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So on this Iron Man profile, since it is the anniversary, the 5th year anniversary, this is the only uh, hat we can get, we get the balloon hat. And it's we got the green one, and this is our hat accessory, this will act as sort of our, this will act as our hat accessory. Mainly uh, for basically ever since we don't have access to the other previous years since we can't use the auction house. But we can go ahead and put that in our bag and gain a little bit extra magic power. Of course I don't... Uh, yeah we got a little bit extra magic power for that. I'm going to leave that in there. And we also have access to the pig shop so we can get shiny orbs and collect some pigs with that. But the only problem is... That the other things are too expensive for our current money right now we don't have a way to get enchanted pork we can't get the dante ring and art of war will take quite a while to get so we can't get many of those so that's unlucky that we did just start now but what we can do is get a few of these golden orbs and figure out and so i'm going to just go ahead and spend all of them because i might as well this only happens one time. I think if I do something like that. And now need to bring the pig back or something. I think if I just hit it towards the orb will be fine. So then we get to click the shiny orb. And we get a little bit of skill XP, so that's really nice. So this, oh here we go, we got a farming for dummies. So that's actually a really good drop, but we need five to put onto one hoe or axe. Uh, but this is a, a really good, I'm gonna keep that. I forgot what the drop chance for one of these is a 3.5% bit of mining off camera. And I got all the way up to mining level 12. Now I can talk to Reese and I can give him three of any of the 10 my or ores. So I give him three. And now he can give us Heart of the Mountain Tier 1, and we can move over into the Dwarven Mines. So now this is going to be the place where I grind for a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to Reeves, complete some of the quests here. But I think one of the main things is talking over to Boo Boo. That way I can get a new pickaxe once I unlock that ability. You can put away this diamond pickaxe for now. Also, he's telling me to go talk to the king. And this is sort of like the mining heaven is what they're saying. Uh, so, something I can get is the Fractured Mithril Pickaxe. Now, it is just slightly better than this pickaxe that I have right now by uh, 5 mining speed. But it also has one extra breaking power, allowing me to mine Mithril. So, this is definitely a good buy. And we get to go use it. And I'm going to go do a few things while I'm, while I'm here. I have two tasks that I want to get. I want to, one, talk to the king and get my mining level up. Oh, as you can see, I have... Some waypoints set. This is for way down the line. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. I'll start turning those waypoints off. That's for way, way down the line once I can start mining in the new tunnels area. But one, two things I wanna do I wanna to talk to the king while I'm over here. That way I can start doing Heart of the Mountain quests. And then I also want to start getting a new armor set, which is the Glacite armor. So I gotta go kill like some of the walkers by the by the um, by the Great Frost Wall, which I'll do right now. So I need 50 mithril ore and any mining event. So obviously I'll obviously that's quite easy to do. Just mine 50 times and just participate in one. So I just need to exist in one. But before we do those quests, or while we're doing those quests, I can also start killing some of the walkers. I don't know if I can survive this fall. We can so with this I'm gonna go ahead and run over here glacite site walkers and it looks like I can there we go so I'm just gonna do this and get the full armor set but I'll cut back once I finally get all the stuff milestone so we now have access to two different emissaries and we got a hundred thousand mining XP now that's starting to get to the point where my mining level doesn't really level up with that much XP which is kind of strange 
Uh, actually, that's because I haven't claimed it yet. But I'm at level 15 right now. I'm about to go claim those two things, but I have to head all the way over to the king first. And I think I'm about to upgrade my pickaxe since I do have 100,000 coins and I believe I have enough mithril to buy the next pickaxe. And the next pickaxe after that's a titanium one, which I believe will take me a bejeweled handle and some other, some titanium and I forget what else I'll need. But we're going to go ahead and claim these two commissions I just did and get our taming up. And we're going to claim this commission milestone, which gets our spelunker up to 17 and 16. So we're now at 115,000 coins. And we need 250 mithril ore and a goblin raid event. And we no longer get hard the mountain XP at an extreme amount. But something that we do want to do, I'm going to use portal warp, head over to the dwarven mines. Activate this, run over to boo boo. And we can get the bandaged mithril pickaxe for 100,000 coins, 200 mithril. And we can, and for the next titanium pickaxe, we need a million coins, 100 titanium, and a bejeweled handle. So, and that's only available at our mountain tier six, though. But I am going to upgrade since this is just slightly better with mining speed, and we might as well take the. Um, actually, I believe I'm not going to upgrade. I think it's probably more of a waste of coins and I don't have access to a lot of coins right now. So I do want to keep that, but something I do want to do is create a mithril minion. And with this mithril minion, I do want to place them on my island, obviously. So we're going to grab some of our cobblestone, cobblestone slabs, and start to extend out our minion platform just a little bit more. And that's our seventh minion slot being used. But with some of this excess loot that I have in my chest, I do want to I do want to go ahead and start condensing it down into enchanted materials. And with some of this, we do want to upgrade our minions like this one. And we need one more enchanted lapis, which I believe I can create right with some of that material. Like so. We can upgrade this one. Coal, we can upgrade this one. Next we need. We don't need to worry about creating enchanted coal just yet. And we can go ahead and upgrade our diamond minion. We need more enchanted diamond and our emerald minion. We don't need to worry about enchanted emeralds just yet. That was just for condensing them down. But now we can. And then for our mithril, this one will take quite a bit of time to level up. But not, not, that's not a big problem. And we can go ahead and move all of our mining stuff back into this chest. But I do want to go ahead and upgrade my cobblestone minion. There we go, that's the upgrade done. And then we're going to head back over into the mines and continue. And we're going to continue to do our quests. I've also completed some some events in the mine so I get to claim this and I believe we now get to mining we get to mining 15 we've gone up quite a few levels and we also go hard mountain too this is good because of the tokens of the mountain and we can get the forge and start forging some things um we spend a lot of mithril powder on our mining speed since that's right kind of the most annoying thing right now is that it takes forever to mine things this has been helping a lot we might also get our fortune up too but I think I think right now the best thing is to unlock uh, titanium and sanium because we can end up getting some titanium quests. I think we don't have too much mithril excess mithril powder, so I do want to see how much fortune I have. And I'm holding this. I uh, only have 65 mining fortune. I'll get it up to. I'll level this up once and then put the rest into titanium, just because it is kind of lucky to get that. So next we have rough quests, which are mining 150 and we have 50 creatures in the mines, which actually isn't that bad since we can, since we're already planning on doing ice walkers. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and have to grind that stuff out a little bit. We do have a little bit more in our purse, so I do want to make sure that we put this up since we don't have too much. We don't have access to uh, like the auto bank or not auto bank. We don't have access to... Only. 
So we don't have access to some other. Uh, the fuck? Uh, so we don't have access to the bank feature where we can just like see it from like remotely. But something that we can do is just teleport to the not the forge. Where is it? The dwarven mines over here. Uh, we go to a portal. We go to a portal hub island just for fun. Not for fun. We go to a portal hub just to go ahead and get our stats up for the cakes, and we can also just teleport back to the beginning and then walk down to our quests. And while we're doing, while we head over to do our quests, we are going to try to get full glacier armor. So I just got the last piece of glacier armor that I needed. Uh, it took me roughly four hours to get all the armor, which is absolutely insane for glacier armor. 36 glacier jewels is proof, and we have a couple duplicates. We have this entire row up here, which I can finally sell and get rid of. Holy crap, it took forever. I'm also going to sell my squire armor too, but these glacier jewels will come in handy later down the road, so I'm going to keep those safe up there in my inner chest. Same thing with the titanium, but we're going to go ahead and sell this armor. So I'm going to warp, I'm going to warp over to the home, warp over to the home, check my minions, make sure they're all good. They seem fine. We're going to head out here and we're going to talk to our merchant and we can sell off all these pieces. And I don't believe there's any other thing you can do with these glacial armors. But what I do want to do is... Oh, shoot. Now, I want to sell them first. Just to get some coins, because I don't think I'll need them. And if I need them again later, I'll just do it whenever I get luck on one of my uh, weapons. So I don't really care about that. There's a spooky festival coming up. So I'll obviously participate in that. I'll try to get... I do have uh, one green candy so I can get the trick or treat bag and put stuff in there. I can also get the candy talisman too. I don't need the spirit potion. And some of the talismans will be fine. Uh, uh, that's unlucky we get a server reboot. But that does give us time to actually go ahead to our inner chest, grab this. I also want to grab this cleaver, these rare diamonds, uh, these and these. And while I'm on my island, I do want to put this stuff up. Oh shoot, wait. I want to put this stuff up. I'm going to head back into the hub. Hopefully I miss the shutdown. Talk to the merchant and just go ahead and sell these. I know they're only going for one coin each, but I mean, it's just one coin, but I don't need them. I'm not going to use them for anything. But I am going to make my way over to the museum and donate a few armor sets. Or I'm going to make my way over to the museum and donate a few things. Uh, I believe I can donate. We've done all the inserts. I can donate the cleaver. What else can I donate? I want to donate this armor set real quick too. But I am going to take it out and wear it. Something else that happened recently was I got my Beast Jerry up to Beast Jerry 5. Now this is just 5,000 free combat experience and one health. That's not too much, but I think if I head over to the Grandma Wolf, I'll be able to level up my Grandma Wolf pet from common to uncommon. So I talked to the Grandma Wolf and she gives us uncommon. The next one we need to get to Beast Jerry milestone 10 to get rare. That's all I can donate right now, so I'm not too mad about that. I'm gonna warp back to hub so I don't have to walk. We're going to talk to the banker, drop some stuff off. And the New Year's 5th anniversary is almost done. So I am going to spend a little bit of time grinding for shiny orbs and things. Stuff like that. Uh, I won't be able to get like the Art of Wars. I won't be able to get Art of Wars. Probably not Dante Ring either. Unless if I get lucky with my shiny orbs. And I probably won't be able to get the Blood God Crest. Since I won't be able to grind for the Enchanted Pork. But that's fine, we'll just wait for the next one. That's in a year from now. Which is unlucky, but that's just that's just how it'll work. I'll make sure to get this on my main profile though. But we'll do shiny orbs, hopefully get that done. But while we're here, we're gonna talk to Fearmonger, get the trick-or-treat, 
And then we're going to get the candy talisman, just as an extra talisman to get. Which will increase our... Which will increase our skyblock level to 10. I do want to update you on a few things while I was grinding. I managed to get combat 18. That's how much killing I did. We also got farming 8. Uh, that hasn't changed. We haven't done any fishing yet. We got to mining 17, almost 18. We got forging 7, enchanting 6, alchemy 4, carpentry 7. We haven't done any rune crafting since that doesn't matter. We got to taming 15. Uh, we're still at social 1, but this doesn't matter. And we haven't even touched dungeons yet. But overall, we got some decent progress. I'm more excited about the armor set than anything that I got in today's video. And if you did enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.